Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to yet another game of golf with your friends. This time we'll be playing through the escapist map. Hold on a moment. What is an escapist? That doesn't sound like anything we've already played before. The Escapist is actually a separate game series, but that and a level based on the Worms series are in the game as maps, though we haven't played any of those games, so it makes sense why you're not familiar with them. For this, it just looks like there are these pixelated characters that show up a lot. That sounds about right, but we won't play the Worms map for a while. For now, we'll just have to focus up here. Not like there's much to focus on. That was probably the easiest hole we've ever had. Yeah, you're right, that was pretty easy. I haven't played this one before, but I looked up some gameplay and those moving obstacles are going to be pretty common later on. And it doesn't look like this one is much harder. It's just going into the water and the game does the rest. I am making the executive decision to skip ahead for us. This is a boring hole and nobody is making any unique progress. Yeah, this isn't a very great first couple holes here. I hope it starts to pick up pretty soon. I'd even take watching Ben get really lucky like last time over this. First off, that was pure skill, not luck. Secondly, even if it was luck, yes, that would be more entertaining. So I'll agree with you there. Don't worry, everyone. I think it'll be more entertaining from here on out. It looks like I'm going first for the hole that actually starts to matter. Yet again, the game is letting me have the hard time by going first and not knowing what to do. Actually, there is some text on the bottom right of the screen showing there is a free cam option, which would allow you to look ahead at the course. Kind of strange that I'm pretty sure nobody has done that and we're seven courses in now. That's good to know, but when I'm Bidening, I don't need to know what's ahead of me. I'll just let the natural flow of events happen or something. Joe, that statement was so dumb that I was distracted and couldn't get past where Donald was. Can you stop saying dumb things so I can focus? Whoa, that came out of nowhere. You are perfectly capable of failing by yourself without my help, and you know that. Yeah, I've got to agree with Joe this time. He made it further than us, and even though what he said was dumb, he is closer to the hole and you definitely don't need him to make yourself look like a failure. Oh, so Joe gets one lucky shot and suddenly he's the best. Now I'm winning this one, just you wait. So what do you like the main antagonist for this golf course? Is that what's happening? No, I'm the protagonist. You better believe it. This is where I prove myself as someone who can actually win a game of golf after a while of not doing so. Wow, Barack, you're really going a bit too far. I get that you haven't won in a while, but still that's no way to treat Joe, even if what he says is often devoid of logic and realism. I've got to say, insulting my speech is dumb isn't exactly the defense you think it is, but thanks, I think... Okay, fine, Joe. Maybe I was a little hard on you, but that does not stop me from being right about winning here. Besides, once Joe tells one of his stories, you're all going to be on my side and not want to listen. As long as you're not blatantly insulting to him, then we can be competitive. But you'll need to control yourself a bit more. Besides, you're not even in first now, so it doesn't mean much yet. Well said, Donald, but more importantly, what do I even do here? I don't see a clear path ahead, so I think I just have to hit it and hope I get near the hole. It looks like you did okay, but being under those chairs and tables will make it harder to aim at the hole. I think we need to aim it in such a way that we won't be blocked by anything. You mean like I just did right now? Yeah, that looks really good. You have nothing in the way of you making it in next time. Somehow I'm guessing Donald is going to be copying it since he is an original and isn't as good at the game as he thinks he is. First off, I am as good as I think I am. And secondly, it's not like you're going to be doing any better. It looks like you're right. Barack has the worst shot yet, and we're all in a better position than him. Do you actually think this is gonna stop me? There is no way I'll let any of you even entertain the idea that I'm not getting the best score by the end of it. I'm sorry, what was that? I couldn't quite hear you over the sound of me making it in. And something tells me Donald and Joe are about to do just the same, unlike you. It looks as though you are correct, Barack. It's okay that you haven't won for a while. There's no reason to be so dead set on getting first at this point. I think you meant to say, I think you are correct, Ben, unless that line was already meant for him. And then the next part was aimed at Barack, despite no pause to indicate that... I'm confused now, but let's just go with that. Doesn't matter, I'll still be getting first. I have the confidence in myself. Oh, look, everyone, yet another hole where I have no idea where to go, but I have to be first and scout out the map for everyone since the game is clearly biased against me. With shots like that, it doesn't matter if the game is biased, since you clearly just shoot at random and hope it works out. Yeah, try to be more like me and actually land in bounds. That usually helps a little bit. Even though you did make it over, you are still not in a great position since you don't have a great angle to work with. But maybe you'll make it after all. Yeah, I can see that, Joe, I'll be fine where I'm at and make it in maybe one or two more shots, unlike out of bounds Ben, who shoots at complete random. Not like I'm doing any worse than out of bounds Barack messing up, up, but I'll at least news. learn from it on my next attempt. I guess if you get lucky enough, then you might find your way closer to the hole. 
By taking my strategy, he did well enough after all. It wasn't just your strategy. I took account of every possible way I could have done it and chose the best outcome, which was similar to what you did by coincidence. No, you just got lucky, but more importantly, did everyone see that terrible shot Donald just did? He has no great angle of getting it in now since he isn't good at the game. So what, we're just making fun of my shot and not acknowledging Joe's terrible one as well? Not like he did better than I did. Okay, maybe I didn't do well that time, but that doesn't mean I'm out of it yet. It's just a small mistake. And now I have a great angle to fall into the hole. Next time, you better watch out, guys. Uh, oh, this wasn't quite what I wanted. Why is it that none of us have made any decent shots in the past minute or so? Are we all just bad at the game now? No, I'm not bad at all. Just watch this. Wow, you almost made it to the hole from there. That was a great shot, and nobody could have done any better than you, Grandmaster of Golf Donald. Do I missed. Thank you for finally acknowledging my skills. I know it took a bit of time for you to say it, but I do like to be praised when it's most appropriate, which is always... Donald, I don't think he was being serious with that statement. No person of an IQ above 10 would say that unironically. Barack, is that true? Were you just making that up the whole time? Of course, I was nobody in their right mind would call you Grandmaster of Golf, Donald. That is a ridiculous thing to say, and you should feel bad for thinking I meant it. Hey, why did you hit my ball? I wasn't even involved in that. Sorry I got so rageful that I wasn't paying attention to who I hit and forgot Barack made it in a little while ago. I'm glad I made it in so I can stay out of this mess. Yeah, I'm surprised you made it in before I did, but you're right. Maybe I'll get myself ahead soon enough, but I'm not going to do that if I keep sabotaging the wrong person. Oh, good. I'm glad we're finally done with this hole where we all just stop being good and can move on to something better. Okay, how am I supposed to do this? I don't even know where the hole is now. Maybe you can bounce on those, I'm not sure. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but at least I have a path ahead this time. Let me show you how the expert does it. Oh yeah, you're down here right by me. You did so much better than I did. Great job, Ben. I think the better option is to just make it further along this way, so there's much less distance to travel through. That's what happens when you're a better gamer. Hold up, everybody. My golfer's instinct is guiding me to a new path we haven't considered. If you mean a new path to the same place half of us were already at, then you're right. Okay, I got the point, but I at least tried something nobody else did, so that has to mean something. Not really, but what does matter is I am now so far ahead of you all, but I'm sure you can catch up soon enough. Thanks for the confidence, Joe. Not that I needed it, but still, I'll be catching up in no time. Hey, can I tell one of my stories since not much is happening on the whole now? Absolutely not, but you want to know what I do want to mention is an overswim guy made yet another generous donation after the last one he did. Shout outs to him. Of course, your support is infinitely more valuable than any of Joe's stories. Even a billionaire such as myself is also thankful for any support, no matter the size. We'll always be happy to see when people donate, but of course that is not meant to pressure anybody in doing so. Any support people give is valuable. Although Joe specifically will need all the support he can get since he spent the entire defense budget of the country for Daily Wire plus last week. So if anyone has a spare six billion, that would be good. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I guess we'll just have to make these videos last a lot longer to get more ad revenue to make up for it, which will be pretty easy if we keep missing like we've been doing a lot today. Don't worry everyone, I'm sure I'll be breaking the streak soon, so at least I'll be doing well. Yeah, something tells me that's not happening. Your instinct earlier didn't help, plus you haven't been using it that much anyways today. So if anyone's getting ahead, it's me. Have you people even been listening? I am the one winning since I have the ultimate motivation of not winning in a long time, plus Ben is definitely missing. Just because you're motivated doesn't mean you're winning. In fact, me losing motivates me even more, so that means I'd be winning by that logic. Not if you keep missing like that, you won't be. Plus, Donald, I apologize, but I'm hitting your ball away, plus my apology was not sincere. Wait, I don't really feel bad about it since I'm sure I'll be making it back up there and into the hole in no time. Just watch. Donald, how is it that you are inventing new ways to be terrible? You absolute moron. Shut there is up, no chance right you are now. winning with your garbage skills. I didn't ask you, Barack. You have an ego somehow bigger than my bank account. And that's all from some dumb hope that you're not as bad at this game as you claim you are. And I will be proving my superiority once you stop sabotaging me. Wow, things are getting pretty heated. I wasn't expecting it to go like this. I think we're getting a little bit too competitive. No, we're not getting too competitive. It's Barack that thinks he's the best, despite losing every match except the very first one. Yeah, I'm not sure why you're like this. Is the constant losing really getting to you that much? Joe lost six billion in the last Final Fantasy IV video, but he's not upset about that at all. 
I think you need to consider the fact that Joe isn't what you would call a smart person who makes good business decisions. That would be me. I didn't ask Donald six-time bankruptcy having small loan of a million dollars, getting document hiding Trump. But next time I want your opinion, I'll be at McDonald's working the drive through since I know you'll be pulling up there. Well, Barack isn't messing around now. He's not even trying to bring us together to focus on the map like normal. What is there to focus on? Half of us missing the part where we make it past the water entirely. That's definitely worth our attention. Hey, I made it over just fine. You really need to calm down if this is going to be a decent time for us. This is a decent time for me, so perhaps if you get to my level, you will all feel better about yourselves, but I don't expect you to do that. It's best not to be too confident, Barack. I'm pretty sure we've had times in previous maps where some of us have let the idea of winning get in our heads, and then it's caused us to fall apart. Don't you remember on that one map that was a museum or something where I won because I kept my composure? That made me successful, but you're not being like that. You're right, I'm not being like that. I am significantly better than you are, but I suppose I could be a bit less harsh on that, so I apologize for getting a bit too intense. You say that right as you block my shot to the hole, I would have hit your ball away much harder, but then I was afraid you would go on a 12-minute tirade on how you're the best player in the world. Don't challenge me, Ben, otherwise you're getting shot away every single time by me. You better not forget. Well, that whole apology didn't last that long since you hit his ball away seconds after. That doesn't sound very sincere. Since we're all here now, we're cutting ahead since nobody's getting sabotaged this time. But don't expect that if you all keep insinuating I'm worse than you. What's gotten into you, Barack? Why are you so set on beating us when you haven't had this much of a problem the rest of the games we've played? Oh, wait, guys, I think I know what happened. So Barack was over at the White House just before we started playing today, and we were eating sandwiches. But I usually take my daily pills with it. So I just put them inside the sandwich that I was going to eat. Then I was practicing my magic skills by putting them underneath cups and moving them around. So I'd have to figure out which one was the original sandwich I was going to eat. But it looks like I mixed them up. So Barack accidentally took my medication, and it's causing him to act like this. Guys, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just dumbfounded by the fact that you are the cause of Barack being so focused on winning the whole time. So what part of that act you did actually involved magic? I think typically the item in the cup would disappear if it were really some sort of trick. But that's just mixing them up and not really anything special. I ate it, so it still ended up disappearing. So how long do these pills last exactly so we know when Barack will be back to his normal self? They normally end up lasting about 12 minutes and 40 seconds. Hey guys, I don't know if this is weird, but I don't remember anything in the past 12 minutes and 40 seconds or so. Do any of you know why that might be the case? Joe accidentally put his pills in your sandwich earlier, so it made you overly confident in your abilities to win this game. I do remember that tasting a bit different than normal, but that's really weird. I hope what I said to all of you wasn't bad or anything. It wasn't good, but at least we know we can blame Joe instead of you. Oh, come on, guys. It wasn't even that bad. Besides, I'm not the one who ate that sandwich anyways, so that part definitely wasn't my fault. Well, I'm glad I didn't say anything that completely destroyed the integrity of the group, so that's nice to know. No, nothing that I can't handle, but the other two were about to quit the game since you were being so harsh to them. That is fundamentally untrue since I was always intending to stay with this game regardless of any hurtful words or sabotage to me. Hold up, don't hit my ball into the fire. I do want to clarify that was only a shot at you because of your sabotage earlier in the game and not related to your false claims made a moment ago, just so you don't get the wrong idea. It seems as though that one magic trick I was doing earlier set forth a lot of issues that I didn't see coming when it happened. At this point, I'm not sure who to be more upset at, Ben for his reverse justified sabotaging ways or Joe for causing Barack to become overly egotistical. I think if we all just stayed focused on the game, then we won't have any resentment on things that we may or may not be at fault for. Yeah, that sounds good. I can't wait to see what comes next for us. Oh, great, yet another hole that isn't clear on where you're even supposed to go or how to get there. Actually, I think I know what to do. It looks as though the far side of the map is where the hole will be, and there are two main options, one of which being that ramp upwards, which will probably take longer overall but is more consistent, or the other path that has stoves that make the ball go higher into the air, which is strange since that isn't what stoves actually do. Yeah, it looks like Joe was trying to get himself ready for the stove path, but since he slid down, he has to take the ramp path instead, which is also what Barack is going to be doing as well, since he missed. I will be doing the more sensible option, and instead of trying the stove path and risking myself flying off in a place I don't want to go through, I'm just going to set myself up near the ramps and ensure I'll make it at least close to the hole soon enough. 
Oh, sorry, Ben. I didn't mean to hit your ball there. That conveyor belt messed with my angle and also messed you up as well. Well, I was on track to get it in soon, but of course, Joe had to ruin my angle, so now I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm up next. While you're all fighting over ramps, I'm already nearly at the hole because I took it slowly and steadily. If any of us have a chance at winning, we have to play much more carefully. You say as your ball overshoots and falls right back down, making a net progress of absolutely none. I'd like to see you do better then if you're so confident in yourself. Gladly. I won't have an angle to make it in the next shot, but at least I don't have to worry about falling down so much like you and Joe do. I want to make it all the way up there in one shot, but I really don't have a great angle to work with here. It looks like both of you aren't making any progress at all, but that's not surprising at this point. And there's Donald making it in next with Ben soon behind. Meanwhile, the Democrats are struggling with each other to not fall into last place. What could happen in this exciting matchup? I'll tell you what, Ben. It's Barack up to his strategy of doing nothing to help himself while Joe sits by and tries to remember what game he's playing. OK, we get it. You don't have to act like sports commentators. We know what's happening in the game. We're looking at it right now. Plus, Ben wasn't even right when he said Donald was making it in as he undershot it. Ooh, Barack and Joe are getting upset with Ben at his expertly crafted commentating, while Joe absolutely blows away any chance of first place with his Stop marvelously terrible news. shot. I'm so excited for what's coming up next. What's happening is Barack does the same dumb strategy as Joe did, but somehow gets incredibly lucky, similar to Ben the whole last game, and doesn't fall back down. I don't know how many times I need to say this, but it was skill, not luck. Even your own co-commentator doesn't believe you have that skill level. I bet that hurts a bit, doesn't it? No. Actually, I don't require the approval of other people in order to reassure myself of my own skill level, so it doesn't really bother me. OK, seriously, how can I keep missing these shots so often? Well, for starters, if you aimed them better, then you would probably miss less often. That was not quite the answer I was looking for, but I suppose you're not wrong. Guys, something tells me, despite the struggling Joe and I have done, I don't actually think we're all that far behind. It seems as though we might still be all right by the end of this. I think at least I can make it if I don't fail in the next few holes. Yeah, OK. Keep telling yourself that you and Joe can stay with your strategies of losing, and I'll keep winning with Donald if that's OK with you. Once we look at the scoreboard, we'll see who is really ahead soon enough. Once Joe decides to make it in the hole, then we'll check if he does that today. It took me long enough, but I finally did it. Wait a minute, Barack is first place, and how did Joe get an eight the last hole and is still in second place? Perhaps we weren't as far behind as you thought we were. Even though it seemed like we were losing, it wasn't the case so much. I know we've asked this before, but what are we supposed to do? This course isn't very clear sometimes on what to do. It's actually quite easy. There's this gate that doesn't reach all the way to the bottom, so we go under instead of above, like Barack tried. Though I imagine that could work, given the right angle. Thanks for the tip. Since I apparently am further behind than I thought, so I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Yeah, typical for the game to put the person in first, that being me at an unfair spot, since I now have to watch all of you take the path forward while I'm behind. It's only a minor mistake, Barack, and plus, we're not even that far ahead of you, so you can still maintain your lead. But not if you keep missing like that, so by all means, stay behind, since it'll give us a chance at being in first. Now that I know I'm ahead, I really feel the pressure to actually do well at this point. I thought I was further behind for a while, last hole, so I wasn't as concerned. If it makes you feel any better, it looks like this angle we have to deal with is more difficult. So it may cause us a bit of trouble getting further ahead than we already are. I guess it helps knowing you aren't getting ahead right now, but since I'll have to get through it too, then it's not as reassuring. Actually, I think I can make it by just fine, so you better watch me pass all of you up very soon. Oh, wow. Joe's actually the furthest in the map. I never would have guessed that was going to happen. Wait, was that sarcasm? No, after your previous hole being filled with failing, I was actually surprised at seeing you ahead for once. And just like that, I have finally made it through, and I'm about to make my way ahead. What do you mean, just like that? It took you three tries to get out of the starting area. I have to take my smaller victories where I can, OK, I know I'm behind, but if Ben keeps missing like that, so will he. Well, sorry I can't make my way with terrible angles, but I'm in a great position to make progress next time. While you two are just talking about making it forward, I'm actually doing it, so you better step up soon. OK, guys, I'm making it in. It's Bidening time. All right, Joe, where are you making it into? Because the hole is certainly not it. I didn't think about anything blocking my way forward. I doubt Barack is making it in soon, no, so at least you'll not fall behind him now. OK, as much as it is fun to make fun of him for missing, we're not even that far behind or ahead, so there's no reason to single him out. Thanks for having my back. Ben, also, that was a good shot. You don't have much in the way of you. OK, Joe, be sure to watch how I do it. And if you copy me, then you can get yourself through with less trouble. 
Yeah, thanks. I'm very careful of making it in on my own, which I will be proving very soon. All right, then, let's actually see it. Bidening time attempt to. You hit it even faster than the time before. Are you timing it at all or just hoping it goes in by a miracle? Joe, I'm trying to defend you here, but if you keep making shots like that, then I don't have much to work with. And what do you know? Barack actually came up with a good shot for once and doesn't have to get past all of those moving targets Joe does. That doesn't matter so much when I'm already in the process of making it in which you're about to witness right here, right now. Once again, the Democrats are struggling to keep up while Barack is at least somewhat capable of not falling to last, unlike Joe, who's make there it. for sure. Joe, are you trying to be in last? Is Shut that up, your Barack. goal Nobody this time asked to you. just waste as many shots as possible while everybody else makes it in? Yeah, Joe, I don't know how you have any chance of winning at this rate. You are clearly outmatched by all of us, and I don't see how you can justify the previous three shots you've done. By redeeming myself right now by making it through. All right, let's see it. Wow, you finally did it. It only took you four attempts after you made it there before any of us did, but you successfully made it to the end. If only you could have done that way earlier and saved us the time. It looks like I've maintained my lead, but everyone is tied at a little behind. Guys, I know what I want to do now to celebrate. I'm going to tell a story about my past for everyone. I can't remember a time we've wanted a story from you, much less asked for one. So there I was waking up with no memory of my life before. Typical for you. I was in the dark elevator looking like thing and I had no idea what was happening until suddenly it opened up and I was surrounded by a lot of other guys that were, I think, 14 years old or more, but I wasn't sure. They told me I was in a group like they were and needed to escape from a maze while they hid in something called the Glade. This is making no sense. There was a smaller group called the Maze Runners that studied the maze, but it was pretty hard since the maze kept changing. And also, there were these things called grievers trying to kill them. I was trying to save my friend Uglier Joe, and we were both caught in the maze at night, but managed to fight our way through. Then a girl showed up, which was really unusual, and we had a psychic link to each other for communication. We all escaped the maze and lived happily ever after in some hotel looking like Place the End. Oh, thank goodness it's over. Uh, wait, I forgot there was more. The group met with another group to try and get to the end of this bad terrain while learning there was this virus across the world called the flare, and some of us died. But we met up with a group called Wicked, and they told us most of us were immune. They told me the cure to it was in my brain, but I didn't want to die in the process, so we all escaped, except for oh, some of us who didn't. And then I started my campaign to become president. Joe, that was just a really condensed and also wrong version of the Maze Runner trilogy, and certainly did not happen to you, as that maze and virus do not exist. No, I'm pretty sure it was real. I was there for it. You were not there for it, and you're going away now if you keep telling more of those stories. I agree with the sentiment, but you're actually further away from the hole than Joe is now, so that kind of backfired. Thank you for hitting his ball away. I couldn't stand listening to his story, but it's not like I don't expect them to come up every other time we play together at this point. Oh, come on, the story wasn't that bad. The actual books your story was based on were good, but not your retelling of them. I've got to be honest, that story was so bad that I wasn't even paying much attention to the score. And we're still behind Barack, and now he's slightly further ahead. At this point, unless Barack screws up spectacularly or we sabotage him the whole time, I don't think we have a chance. I'm glad to know you're finally being reasonable with your expectations. Hey guys, if I tell another story, do you think that will distract him and he will miss even more? At this point, I'd rather take the loss if it means I don't have to hear more of your stories that aren't even really yours. Okay, but don't blame me if he ends up winning in a few minutes. With my good shot, if anyone has a chance of beating him, it's me. Not if my path here works out. That's definitely a strange method to get ahead, but if that works for you, then go for it. I have, and I'll get a great angle to make some progress in a moment. Guys, I'm still in this too, you know? Kind of, but I have a much better angle while you're not quite at the point where you'll make it in. Oh yeah, I guess I'm not. I suppose it's Joe Ever for me now. Did you say Joe Ever? Please never use that phrase again. No, it's my new catchphrase. It will catch on with the youth of America. I thought you saying it's Bidening time was your catchphrase, although since you miss over half the time you say it, Wait, what? I guess I can see why you'd want a new one. Donald, why did you sabotage me like that? It's my last ditch effort for you to not win. I don't have that many other ideas. I've got an idea, watch this. I'm not sure what I was supposed to be watching since that's not the way to the hole. In my head, that went a lot better. That's okay, at least I'll have a good shot to make up for Ben's terrible shot that made no progress. Hey, Donald, your sabotage attempt didn't work since I'm still in range to make it in with very little issue. Uh, I was hoping it would work, but I wasn't really expecting it to do that much. 
And even if it knocked you further away, I would have needed Ben or Joe to make it. Plus, having me constantly defend the hole, I didn't think it through well. That's okay. Ben is making it in soon enough, but we all know I made it in first place regardless. Okay, maybe Ben isn't making it in now. Yeah, I have to admit I didn't do too well this time, especially this last hole. You actually did quite well for the most part and only had a few moments where you missed a lot. While Ben eventually gets to the hole, I wanted to say good job, Barack, for finally getting another win since it's been quite a while since you've had one. You really picked up the pace towards the end of the game. Thank you, Joe, but I want to say thank you for everyone watching. This was another fun map. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back for more soon. And peace out, people.